All right, guys, this is Monk here with Sofa King News, and I've got, let's see if I can get everybody here. There we go. All right, who are you and what'd you do? We've seen you. Go ahead. So I was an actor in Nightman and Hummingbird. Uh, my name's Dylan, and I was the director of Nightman and Hummingbird. I'm Shittage, and I was co-director and director of photography. Okay, so I've already been told this is an interesting story. Give me the scoop. All righty. So it started off, I'm a senior right now, so freshman year of high school, uh, we shot this, we shot and wrote this film called Batman and Robin, uh, as like a parody of Batman and Robin, obviously, <laughs> and we wanted to remake it, but better, and to avoid copyright, we renamed it Nightman and Hummingbird and reshot the entire thing. Um, so what happens is it essentially is Hummingbird is going about his daily routine uh, when he gets a call from Nightman to go pick up his car from uh, the police station. It's been impounded. The Nightmobile's been impounded. So... So Hummingbird uh, suits up and he goes down and he basically tries to steal steal the Nightmobile back and uh, hilarity ensues on his mission. <laughs> oh, awesome. So how long is this thing? It's about Six, eight, seven, seven minutes. minutes. Okay, yeah. good, good. So you guys, it, and in my opinion, if you're going to this story sounds to me like it needs to be like that 11 minute cartoon stretch, yeah. you know? It, it does. So what did you play in this? I played a crazy guy on a train. <laughs> I love that. So also, we have Night Hummingbird's costume completely out of the women's department in Target. Oh, yes, yeah, so, he was uh, in pantyhose. So I, I directed it, and I'm also Hummingbird. Okay. And so, so Hummingbird wears a very, very tight, tight, like just situation. All, all women's clothes, all of them. From the 60s. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. That is so funny. So, how long did you take to film this whole thing? We actually did it over the course of weekend. uh, a weekend, and then we did some reshooting like the next weekend uh, for like bits and pieces we needed to redo. But yeah, we we knocked it out really quickly. We were on top of things. Three days, we got it done. We sound very DC Comics here. Did you guys have to fight with special effects or props, or how did you tackle that? Did, like at the very beginning, um, there's a scene when he opens a watch and you tap it, and it's like a holograph that pops up. So that was pretty cool. And that's about yeah, that's about the extent of the special effects. Uh, yeah, we actually had a, a girl in our in our film class. She made the costume, so she made a she made us a hummingbird logo, and she kind of put yeah, stuff on the costume to kind of give that superhero feel. She made a mask for me. And then there was also like the transitions, like if you remember in the Batman, like the Batman logo pops up, and yeah, we, we had that, that, but with a hummingbird on there. So we had the, like, it, was, it was pretty cool. It's good. So funny. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I gotta get to the the big question at the end. I love if you could make any movie with the budget I get. Like I'm gonna give you an open ended check. But you got to make the movie we're all going to talk about from now to the end of time. What's the genre? Oh, good Probably lord. Probably something around like, like the Fincher type. Something like a little bit more dark and just like mystery-ish kind of. Like crime thriller. Yeah, probably yeah. like the deepest, darkest parts of like society. Make yeah. something that like deals with that. Oh, really? like, we're both really big Fincher fans and like we follow oh, yeah. his work religiously almost. And so... Yeah, like Girl with a Dragon Tattoo, Gone Girl, and like Social Network. All of these are some of our favorite films. So something just kind of just to please Fincher, like something he would watch and say, I would have loved to work on that. Well, it's kind of like me. I tell my friends, that they're like, well, well, who's your comic book hero? Lex Luthor and the Joker. And they're like, really? I'm like, dude, look at Lex Luthor, the only guy who could almost beat Superman just about every comic book. He may not have done it, but he's the only guy who almost did. Almost did. Exactly. That's a pretty bad man right there. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much for talking to me. I really appreciate it. Good luck to you all. Thank you.